Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're checking out some incredible AI courses that are perfect for UX, UI designers, product designers. These courses cover some of the most important topics today, which are almost necessary, including vibe coding, prototyping using AI, and even launching your own products like apps and websites without the knowledge of code or without any sort of no code tools. All right, so the first one is by NNG Group, and they recently launched this in October. This is essentially a guide more than a complete course where it takes you through all different kinds of articles and videos for each and every topic when it comes to AI and how to kind of learn and pick up each topic. For example, AI as a UX assistant is super helpful because it's a complete study and research done as well as how you can kind of create your own assistance in AI. This is something that you won't find in one place, but they've collected it organize it in tables for design, for research, for writing, for service design. So they're covering each and every area of design and then they're giving you relevant articles and videos to kind of study up on it. You'll also find a bunch of tutorials and how to's on how to kind of get started in each area. So they're kind of like mini courses in a way. All right, so the next one is by Maven. There are super talented coaches here on Maven, but, but the issue is most of their courses are paid. However, under each course, for example, prototyping with AI Bootcamp, there is actually a complete free sort of segment that you can avail from them. For example, vibe coding internal tools for your team. This is a great sort of mini course that they've given as a free lesson. And all you need to do is just put in your email and they just send the link to you. You can just activate it and start learning from them. In fact, Maven also has something called lightning lessons and lightning lessons are 100% free. Now these lightning lessons have AI design, product marketing, all of that in one place. And essentially these are all the free sort of course segments that you can get all across their website. And they're very extensive. Some of these videos are 30, 40, one, even two hour long videos, which you can really take. And they've covered a lot of AI topics as well. For example, vibe coding with cursor AI. If you're looking at cursor and how to use cursor, Nick Babish has an entire course, 34 minute long course on this. Free of cost from a premium mentor on a premium platform. This is amazing. I, I can bet a majority of you guys did not know about this, but now you do lightning lessons. I have two, three links of my favorite ones, but you guys are free to explore. This next course is perfect for UX UI design beginners, as well as people who want to get into AI. It's called the UI UX design placement course with AI by Internshala. So they're guaranteeing you that you'll get placement services right after you graduate with 250 plus hiring partners. They can get you placed as well as paid internships at the end of the course. They're offering a plethora of real world projects that you're going to build during the course, including real world apps and solutions. This is a five month course which has live and on demand sessions. So you get to talk to real experts live. They have actual expert mentors with many years of experience as well. And they guide you in the right direction and help you by holding your hands and taking you through this course. And these mentors will be in your network. So you'll be able to ask them questions and clear your doubts from them. You also get many different perks. You even get a free 12,000 rupee boost, which is intern, internshala boost. That means your profile is boosted on top of their website, which has thousands of internships and jobs. They're also going to teach you the latest AI tools. So you're not left behind in this AI driven industry. Apart from UI UX skills, they're also giving you soft skills like communication, seeing your interviews, resume building, and even AI powered practice. The curriculum is very extensive with 300 plus hours of learning from the basics of UI UX to the more advanced level topics like project management, designing responsive websites and apps, usability testing, user research, and much more. You can even publicly read all the good things that students are saying with these detailed reviews 
of students who have recently been placed as well. At the end of a course, apart from placement services, you even get two major certifications to boost your career and your resume. If you want to get a call back from their team and learn more about this, make sure you click on the link in the description and fill out the short form and they will help you out understanding about this course as well as your UX UI career. There are limited seats, so hurry up. The link is in the description and thank you once again, Intern Shala, for supporting this channel. All right, recently, Anthropic has been making a lot of waves in, you know, AI and design also. Like they're, they're partnering up with Figma to do a lot of cool stuff. And for those who don't know, Anthropic is the company that owns Claude, Claude AI. So they not only have Claude AI, but other topics as well on their platform. It's called Anthropic Learn. And there are a lot of segments, Claude for work, Cloud for personal, Cloud build with Cloud. But apart from that, you can just see all their courses through Skilljar. And here you have things like AI fluency for educators, AI fluency for frameworks and foundations. So this is really cool if you get into any of these, say frameworks and foundations, this course has complete step-by-step -step sort of lessons. So there are 10 lessons per module, AI fundamentals and frameworks. So if you want to learn what is AI and how, to, how it works, then there are 10 lessons. Practical AI skills. So you can learn AI skills which are practical for your design workflows or productivity workflows. And these are really cool because each chapter has 10 lessons and these are very well curated. They also have something called Claude use cases. So Claude use cases is basically how different companies have used AI in their workflow. And I found that it's very inspiring to see other companies do something and then sort of, I wouldn't say copy pasting, but getting inspired and motivated by that. For example, create brand assets. This is by a company that did it on their own. How did they create brand assets like business cards, print specs, QR codes, all using Claude. So again, prompts, etc. Everything is included with a step-by-step -step guide as well and how they did it. So whether it's debate practice or creating a presentation or building a portfolio or a website, Everything is included with, you know, so, sort of step-by-step -step guides on how to do it. Now, recently, Hardik Pandya has been doing a lot of cool stuff. Not the cricketer, the designer, the UX designer. He does a lot of talks and, you know, like sessions online. And he's been doing stuff on his website recently. It came up and I just had to share it. It's called hvpandya.com. Uh, and he has an entire page dedicated to vibe coding on how he that kind of takes it. So he uses cursor uh, for this and he kind of takes you through it. And this really, you know, helps you see how he's built this sort of restaurant order dashboard using, using one of the most famous AI tools out there. So once again, you're learning the tool as well as you're learning how you can create something cool like this, like an actual working prototype or working app like this. It has both agent mode and editor mode and he teaches you both. It's very extensive. It's a very, very long article. And he has a lot of other things as well. It comes under his notes. So it's why prototyping, generative UI and early thoughts. Again, the same thing, but done in a different sort of manner. And the best part is he's an actual designer working with some of the top companies in the world. So he's not just blabbering about what he knows or what AI can do, but actually how he utilizes it, it in his workflow. And that is a lot more valuable as well. Okay, let's look at a very beginner friendly one. Vibe coding is super important and a bunch of these courses that I showed you are around that. But what is vibe coding? How do you get through it? How do you create your sort of first app or website using vibe coding? And uh, if you want to just learn the basics for now, this is perfect. It's called it's by Code Academy. It's certified, so you get a certificate after completion. And it has video lessons as well as a quiz attached to each of these lessons. It's extremely short, but you get to create one project and it's just one hour long. I wanted to mention this because it's highly rated. It's by Code Academy, which is very good. And apart from that, it's just one hour long. Apart from everything else, which is super long and you have to take five different lessons, this is just getting you started. Of course, we had that one hour lesson. However, this 35 to 40 minute lesson by Starter Story Build gets you through making or designing an app properly in Figma 
and then exporting it into code in an actual app and launch it even on the app store. So if you're looking to actually see how that entire process can work, what is the future of designers building products, this is that video. And this is actually a full step-by-step -step tutorial where they share the screens, uh, they share their screenshots. There, there is the idea and planning stage. So you learn how to kind of plan out a project like this. Designing mock screens in Figma, of course, you get to design the UI screens. And how? what are the best practices for doing that before you go into the coding or the production stage? And then, of course, you have building the app without code, but with wipe coding. And testing and debugging is also included. So you're not just creating something, you're also debugging it, testing it, doing the usability tests as well, and then submit. And how do you submit it to like the App Store? They teach you that as well. So if you really want to launch something of your own, if you're passionate about it as well, which I would say everyone should be. I've launched my own Figma plugins and stuff like that. Check it out later, you can do that. But that was done without anything, with wipe coding, with debugging, using wipe coding. So, you know, check this out. This is a super useful 37 minute long tutorial, but boy, does it get everything right. And everyone is just, you know, the comment section is just super positive. Okay, yes, today's video is just full of YouTube videos just because they're so good these days and they're free and they're right here on YouTube. Now this is called Dive Club. They have like this entire channel where they call on experts explaining different tools, software, processes, methods. So Dive Club in general is super, super useful and they're super active, like every two, three weeks, or every week they have something new. How do you, you know, do something for your own company? How do you create or design a product? What is the life behind the scenes sort of things as well? So the channel itself is super cool, but what's super impressive is this one cool video I found, which is wipe coding at Google, prototyping the all new AI studio. This is when you want to see how wipe coding can be used for creating full-fledged prototypes, not to launch on the app store or anything, but how is wipe coding going to replace prototyping? AI-based prototyping, AI-powered prototyping, essentially. So Dive Club kind of teaches you with the designer who worked on the AI studio, Google's very own AI studio, and he takes us through the entire process. It's like seeing how he went from very like basic idea to actually finding something to build it with and how he used different tools like Gemini, etc. Yeah, this is cool for Gemini as well if you're looking for that. But apart from that, I absolutely love this as a case study is how he did it and how he used it. The next one's actually a YouTube playlist, but he's built a bunch of playlists. I just want to share it with you guys. This is by Anch uh, on his channel, The Cutting Edge School. And as you can see, this he has covered Figma make through and through both for website design as well as for, you know, app design or creating prototypes. Now, each of these videos are super long. One is one hour long, one is 45 minute long. And dude, if you want to learn Figma Make, which is an up and coming AI tool for designers to create, you know, cool prototypes and even websites and live stuff, he's covered it all on just through two videos. It's, it's sort of covered everything that you really need to know. So if you want one stop shop, this Super little two video playlist is all you sort of need if you want to learn Figma Make, which is, I think, an up and coming tool, so why not? Another Office playlist, if I had to suggest, is basics of AI agents and automation. Now, AI automation is a big thing these days. A lot of companies, billion dollar companies, are striving towards actually focusing on automating their current processes, getting humans to kind of navigate it and to help it out, but this could be the future of AI. When we're looking at how AI will be used every day, this is it. So yes, AI agents. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this one, then make sure you like the this video by hitting the like button and also commenting down below. If I missed a course, if you found a course which is useful, why not share it with everyone? Hey, I found this course. Give it a link in the comments. I'll heart it. I'll pin it. That'd be really cool to share your own favorite resources out here. And of course, subscribe to the channel.